from the station that's working for you. You're watching Fox 4 News at 10. New at 10, an independence man filed a federal lawsuit saying he's the one who came up with the idea for the WNBA, but he never got any credit. In this story you'll see only on Fox 4, the man tells Tess Koppelman why he believes the NBA stole his dream. Tess. Lightning Mitchell started a professional women's basketball league in 1991. It had teams throughout the Midwest and was growing in popularity, but he says when he approached the NBA about expanding his league, they weren't interested. Then a few years later, they launched the WNBA. Lightning Mitchell keeps a collection of all his memorabilia from the Women's Basketball Association he founded. We even said we are going to be the pioneers of, of women's professional basketball. From 92 to 96, he built up the WBA. He had eight teams throughout the Midwest, from Chicago and Minnesota to Nebraska and Oklahoma, including the Kansas City Mustangs. Connor, who was coming from the we played the All-Star game down in the Minnesota Auditorium, and we seated 3,500 people at that ball game. Mitchell knew he had a good thing going. That's why he contacted the NBA to see if they could form a nationwide league together. But they kept saying they weren't interested. Then in April 1996, the NBA launched the WNBA. Upside three, and she answers back for the court. And that was the end of Mitchell's league. There's no way I could have competed with the NBA, and I know that. Recently, when he found out the person he had been talking to at the NBA about creating the women's league is the same person who then launched the WNBA. Mitchell says he shared ideas and research with her. When I saw that, it just really put me in the chaos, you know. I'm thinking, well, how could she do this? Why can she tell me? that she was an interest in some, you know, this type of venture, but then turn around and they formed their own league. All Mitchell wants now is for someone to acknowledge the WBA's pioneering efforts. I don't care how big you are, you know, I'm a human too. You just don't walk over people. Mitchell is suing the NBA and WNBA, saying it caused him mental distress and pain when the company stole his dream. He's asking for $500 million in damages. I was not able to reach the NBA or WNBA for comment. Tess Koppelman, Fox 4 News.